So today guys, I want to talk to you about schema, assimilation, and accommodation. When you hear schema, the word schema is pretty much what you already know. It's a, a priori. That's a philosophical word that I learned a couple years ago, but uh, it's prior knowledge. So schema goes with assimilation and then accommodation comes into play. So your schemas are what you've learned from your parents, the people you are interacted with when you're growing up. So if I say, I'm gonna go grocery shopping, Walmart, things are turning right now, right? You have an idea what I'm talking about. The cart's gonna be there when you go grocery shopping and put the food in there. If you go to get cereal, all these different kinds of cereals are popping up in your head. That's your schema. Assimilation is when you have one kind of cereal versus something else that looks like cereal. So the cereal box, right? You see that and you automatically have these blocks that are built in your um, memory, your brain. That's how schema works, it's these blocks. Um, assimilation for a kid, you know, this is something we all go through early in development, like two years old, three years old, and even before, but two and three year olds is when it really kicks in. So I'll tell my child that a black and white dog is a dog. So the child schema is not as developed as ours, so those blocks are not as mature and can gather and grab things. So the kid's mind is not as mature as ours and can grab those blocks and make things into what they know it is from schemas. I tell a kid that this black and white four-legged animal is a dog, which it is, a canine. Now this child, two to three years old, is assimilating four-legged animal, black and white in color, to be a dog. So now this kid sees a cow and the kid calls the cow a dog. So the accommodation comes in where we, as the adult for this illustration, tell the kid, no, this is a dog and that's a cow. So that's the accommodation. So your schema allows you to understand things and then the assimilation is what you assimilate that with. But when something of similar nature comes into play, you don't necessarily put two and two together. So then that's where accommodation comes in. So where in your life, your life, is your assimilation and schema skewed? Let me say it again. Where in your life is your assimilation and schema skewed? Meaning, you might have grown up, someone told you, oh, you're ugly, you're fat, you're never gonna amount to anything. No one's gonna ever love you. You're not lovable. You're um, cold-hearted, you're heartless. Where in your life did that schema assimilation process happen? Well, here comes the accommodation part. It's gonna start with you, but I'm here to tell you as the accommodator that you are not ugly. You are not worthless. Someone can love you. You are lovable. You are not heartless. Everyone expresses things in different ways, so you gotta find out what's true and what's not. And this is where people in our lives come into play. You gotta surround yourself with like-minded people people who are progressing, doing well, like the things that you like. Always have to talk about my spiritual belief with God. I don't do religion, but where in your spiritual belief is the assimilation and schema skewed? You know, someone told you that, oh, God only loves you if this. Oh, God is upset with you if that. Sadly, that's not true. God always loves you no matter what. There's actually nothing you can do to stop God from loving you because Jesus came and died for you and me. That's my schema. It comes straight from the Bible, which the Bible can be skewed up on in interpretation. So, I'm not calling anyone out, just speaking generally here. Think about how your life is affected by the assimilations that you have about the higher being as some people see it. You know, you look in this world, you can't say there's not something bigger than us here. There is a higher power, that is God. And Jesus gave us direct access to God. Schema, assimilation, accommodation. Use that to figure out what you need to do to get to where you want to be in life. Because if someone told you you can't do something, you're growing up with that assimilation and that's your schema. Oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. I'm not good enough, I'm ugly, I'm not pretty, right? Oh, I'm not the right color. Oh, I'm not the right gender. 
All that is not true. You can do whatever you want in this world. You can become whoever you want. Now don't take that and go try and do something you're not capable of. You know, I'm not going to be a scientist. I know that because that's not my thing. But there are scientists out there and there's someone who has the potential to be a scientist but someone skewed their schema with their simulation and accommodating them in a bad way. That accommodation is what's saying, oh, you can't do this. But you don't know until you try. So be smart about what you try to do and reflect. Have some self-reflection. Look at your schemas and what you think life is all about. So I really love you guys and appreciate you for giving me time, for giving me your time to watch my videos. I hope this helped. You are worthy, you're not worthless. God loves you, I love you, because that's what Jesus tells me to do. And I'm a Jesus follower, I'm a Christ follower. So, you always have love, and love is the strongest and greatest of them all. And we're here to serve one another and be there for each other. So, take care of someone, no matter how big, how little, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.